Welcome back. This time we're talking about The Mummy, a remake of the 1999 action comedy starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz, as well as the start of Universal's new Dark Universe. Now before I get into the review itself, let me first apologize for not posting any videos for the last several weeks. I went on vacation and I knew my ability to record and post videos was going to be limited. And in fact, I didn't actually see any movies on my vacation, at least not until the ride home. Uh, but I also started a new job as soon as I got back home, and I underestimated the amount of time that transition was going to take from me, for at least for a little while. And then when I was finally ready to start doing videos, I ended up having some technical difficulties with my microphone. I decided to go ahead and just continue to wait. So now I'm finally back. Um, this is the first of three catch-up reviews. So with that said, let's talk about this mummy movie. As I mentioned, I was on vacation, so it was almost a week after its initial release that I finally got a chance to go see it, and it was pretty hard to ignore the negative reactions most critics and a lot of moviegoers were having with this movie. It was getting torn apart. So I went in knowing that a lot of people hadn't liked it, um, and, but I really wanted to give it a chance because I am a fan of the 99 version with Brendan Fraser. I found that movie very enjoyable. I haven't recently rewatched it, so there may be some nostalgia factor on it, but that was a film I've watched many times and haven't enjoyed it every time. Going into this one, I really felt it was going to have a much different vibe, knowing that Tom Cruise was in the lead, and based on what trailers I had seen, this seemed to be much more of an action horror rather than an action comedy that the um, 99 version was. And Actually, I was very mistaken because this movie at least attempts to have a lot of comic relief. And that's honestly one of its bigger problems because the comic relief in this movie just doesn't work. Both from a script perspective as well as a delivery perspective. That being said, I did not find this movie nearly as bad as a lot of other people did. I'm not going to say it's a good movie and certainly not a great movie, but it had some summer popcorn quality to it that it wasn't a humongous mess such as Transformers which I'll be um, talking about that shortly in another video. The story is that Tom Cruise's character is a soldier and he is essentially looting various antiquities to make money and he happens upon a tomb of Egyptian origin in the middle of Iraq and that is because the ancient Egyptians had buried this princess, played by Sophia Batella, uh, because she had made a devil's bargain with Set, the god Set, and became someone that needed to be eliminated, and she was essentially imprisoned in this tomb. Story-wise, this is one thing that I felt was an improvement over the 99 version, because that had also had a very similar thing where an Egyptian person um, broke natural laws and was um, imprisoned for it. it it, by mummification. In the 99 version, he gained all of his powers because of the ritual they used on him, which really never made sense to me. They essentially made their greatest um, adversary even more powerful. In this, t in this version, um, she's in prison until she is released accidentally by Tom Cruise's character. Another thing the film gets a lot of flack over is the obvious attempts to build this greater um, cinematic universe. Um, and this is most blatantly seen with the in um, inclusion of Russell Crowe as Dr. Jekyll, another one of the classic movie monsters. I will say Dr. Jekyll as a character could have been replaced by any kind of generic person and it would not have changed the script at all. Um, the one thing I do like about um, Dr. Jekyll's inclusion is the fact that Russell Crowe is in this movie. He has a real history of being that really serious guy. I mean, they've even made fun of him on South Park about it back in the day. Um, but give him a just goofy, over-the-top character, and he is an actor that has shown that he can just sink his teeth into something like that and have a lot of fun with it. Um, we saw that in the RZA movie, The Man um, with the Iron Fists. Um, he was the best part of that movie because he just had so much fun just chewing up scenery. And he has an opportunity in a scene or two here to do the same thing. The story as a whole is very convoluted. But I will give it the benefit of being mostly internally consistent. 
Um, you can debate the decisions various characters are making, but they're at least consistent and make sense based on th these, those characters and those situations as a whole. Um, again, something that we did not see in Transformers, a film that I did not give nearly a, a, pa a pass that um, I have been with The Mummy. So overall, this is a film that is not great. It's not even really good. Um, but it's a film that I actually was somewhat surprised with. Um, the, the comic relief really doesn't work. Um, there, it, it results in some very noticeable tonal shifts that the, the, the film really can't get over. And as much as Tom Cruise is an actor I enjoy and like and also feel that he gets a little too much flack um, for some of his, his roles, but he's not really an actor I see to deliver comedic one-liners in the middle of uh, an action um, sequence. And that's what they ask him to do here, and it really just didn't work. Um, at the time this movie came out, I felt that it was definitely worth watching if you were just looking for some you know, generic um, summer popcorn flicks. There have been a, a number of better movies being released since that time, so I, 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 it does not come with um, any real sort of recommendation. But what I will say is if, it was a film, if this was a film that you were interested in but were turned off by the negative reactions, um, if you're still interested and want to see it and you like the, the actors involved with it and like the, the, the mummy type stories, it's probably still worth going to see. It, 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 it's better than most people are saying it is, um, which honestly isn't really a high bar to, to, to meet because people were tearing this thing apart. But that's, that's my view on the mummy and... If you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it. I, I'm guessing I'm probably going to be um, not in the mainstream of opinions based on what I've seen elsewhere. But let me know what you thought um, down in the comments below. As always, you can subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other reviews, and until next time, I'll see you at the movies.